Okay, welcome back. So um, if you recall from our last time we were making our light sensor, um, we worked on um, getting the component libraries in there. So we went ahead and uh, uploaded those to a, to a directory called libraries in our, um, in our hub. And then we used the library manager to go ahead and put those um, into a um, into the available libraries for other this project and for other projects you might do with Fusion Electronics. Um, so once it, you know that's the library manager, and so once you've got it in there, now it's available to use in all sorts of designs that, that you may do. And so, um, so. In this video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to start in on the schematic, and I want to show you a schematic here. This is a this is a schematic that we've used in my embedded systems class in the past. Um, this was done in in um, KiCad, and we're going to basically implement um, this functionally this schematic um, in our uh, in our work here um, with this light sensor. Uh, and so, so uh, again, this is more just for reference, and I'll refer back to this um, several times. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so, so we're going to basically go through and, and add these parts, and so we'll come back to these connections. All right, so uh, one thing I, we're going to start kind of go from left to right here as we add this stuff. One thing I want to point out is the power infrastructure here that we're going to add. So uh, we're going to add a battery, and so it's going to be a coin cell. It's this little three volt coin cell, and I think you saw me add that component in the last video. Um, but you'll notice that I've got that battery into a jumper block here. So this is just a normal three pin pin header, and so I'll be able to put a jumper between you know this one and two, and then power the system off the battery, um, or I'll be able to remove the jumper altogether and then the system will be unpowered. Uh, but what I'd like you to, to pay attention to here is, is this other jumper. Now, it runs to this four pin, uh, what will, will be a JST connector for us. <clears throat> and so that JST connector is hooking to this, I think really interesting uh, device that's produced by ST. And so let me show you that device here, turn my light. And uh, this device here, this little power management board is really cool. And what it is essentially is a power, power supply. It's a power supply that run, you know, they'll provide up to 30 milliamps. So not very much, not very much, but for a lot of embedded systems projects, it's enough. And especially in the low power domain, what this little guy does is it hooks up to um, USB. And so <clears throat> you hook this little connector here to your board. Oh, well, there's the... There's the plug end of the JST, and you'll plug that into your board here. And so when you plug that in, you'll be able to power the board with this little blue board. And you might be saying, well, you know, what's the big deal with that? Why don't I just, uh, you know, make a little three volt power supply with a linear regulator, uh, you know, and then just power my board. You know, if I don't want to run it off the battery because I'm running the battery down, I can do that. Well, this little guy has a, a, it's a really nice, uh, you know, high, a dynamic, um, current measurement system that can measure down into the sort of nanoamp scale. And so when you're looking at your system, especially when you're doing PowerWare programming, having the ability to see exactly what your program is doing at any given time is really useful. It, it's, it is um, exceptionally useful. So this is a little, um, I think it's called PowerMon. Um, you know, it's, it's about an $80 board from ST. Super useful for this kind of stuff. Just um, I would just highly recommend it. Um, I've not really found a better solution for low power things. Um, you know, certainly at that cost point, it, very useful. Um, and again, they've got a little Java tool um, that you can visualize things on. Um, you know, on your on your workstation while you're doing your coding, you you've got access to the current measurements, and it's sort of this. You know, maybe up to 100 kilohertz, I think. But you know, something in the you know, her, you know, uh, you know, in the kilohertz range, it's fine, right? That that sort of resolution is oftentimes um, plenty good enough to kind of see the thing go out of its low power state, um, do its computation, get back in the low power state, and just make sure that that quiescent draw is what you expect, because you know all sorts of interesting things happen as you're trying to whittle that um, that that amount of current that the system draws down. All right, so. Let me come back to uh, Fusion 360 here. And so we're gonna add these parts here. And so let's go ahead and add this power input um, section here for, um, for the system here. So, all right, so 
there's this little block. So I'm going to move this down here. Um, all right, so we need a ground, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put in ground. And so I'm going to you search for G and D. And so I can grab any of these grounds. Any of them will work. Um, I'll just grab this one here. All right, so what is a ground? So uh, for those of you who are new to electronics, um, you know, ground represents the lowest point in the, in the, uh, in the system. So it's our, uh, uh, it's our reference voltage. Um, of course, it goes to the negative terminal of the battery here. So, um, so we've got, you know, it acts like a global variable. Anything named ground will connect to this. And so you'll see that I'll, I'll put this symbol all over the design um, to connect it, you know, to, to demonstrate that it connects to ground. All right, so um, I'm not going to wire things up just yet. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, pin. And so here's the pin head. Um, and you get all these different choices. So I want a little three pin pin header. So it's one by, let's go one by three down here. And so I'll select that. Now, one of the things you have to understand about the library browser in, in, in Fusion 360 Electronics, it's got different options here. So if I do this little pull down right here, you'll notice that I can select a straight or a right angle. And in my case, I think I'll go with the straight header. I think that's, that's going to be fine for what I'm doing here. So I'll select that. Uh, and so now when I grab it, it's going to grab the one that is the, um, and, uh, yeah, maybe just put it that way. And so now I've got, um, I know I've got my pin header. Now, I, the other thing I want to do is I want to grab a four pin uh, JST um, connector. And so JST is kind of a standard. In fact, we use the, what's called the JST-XH connectors here. So the kind of bigger, meatier um, version of the JST connectors. JST is a, a brand. And so, um, so let's just grab JST here. Actually made by a number of different manufacturers. And so we want these uh, 4XH here. So I'm going to grab uh, this one here. So it's got this little plastic shield so you can't plug things in backwards. So we'll go and grab that and I'm going to put it up here. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and start wiring things up. So I've got this thing still set on the library. So I'm gonna come over here to design. And this little doodad right here, net, um, is, um, is what you're gonna use to draw wires. And so the thing you have to remember about, um, you know, each one of these, you know, icons up here, they can all be, um, you know, activated by some keystroke. And so R is for net. So you might ask, well, why is it not in? Well, R is what you're going to use in the layout for routing. And so they just made it, you know, and laying a wire, a logical wire is, uh, is um, the logical equivalent to dropping in a trace, you know, the actual physical uh, manifestation of that wire. And so we'll just use R here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit R. And so now I'm in, in add net mode. And so when I hover over one of these pins, it'll let me, uh, it'll make that little circle. And so I'll be able to connect things. And I'll connect them like that. <clears throat> and then I need to go back and look at my reference schematic here. And so the other one goes to pin two. Pin two. So make sure I'm still in uh, so pin two. Down to this upper one here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And so pin four. So... Uh, pin four is going to go, if I go back to my reference schematic, pin four is going to go to ground. And so let me go back over here and I'm going to, I'm going to click on this guy right here and I'm going to hit control C and then I'll hit control V. I'm sorry, I'm just going to do a copy and then I'll drop it in here. So what I need to bring up that menu is if you right click, actually, if you click on it and you, whoops. If you right click on it, then you can do a copy. Uh, if you hit escape, that'll cancel that. All right, so I'm gonna hit R. Oh. And I'll go from there to there. All right. So let me extend this out. Come up a little bit. Now, 
I need to have some sort of a a net. So what's going to happen is you know when this bat when these two are connected, this is going to be the the voltage that powers the system. And so I'm going to call that um, um, uh, I'm going to call it VCC. All right. And so VCC. So if I come over here and I say VCC, it'll give me a, a symbol. Uh, again, these are just global variables. The names are somewhat um, ubiquitous. In other words, that VCC has a history as to why they called it VCC. It's a sort of an old story at, before my time even. Um, so um, why it is called VCC, I don't know. It's just, it's just we'll use that as the, as the, the logical, you know, the, the power supply for our digital system. So I'm going to click on net and then I'll hook those up and it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to connect those two nets? And so I'm going to say yes. And that's because I drew this wire first. It got a name, so it gets this dollar sign net name, and that's normal. Um, it's got to call it something. And then when I try to hook VCC to it, it says, hey, are you okay if I connect those two things together? And the answer is yes um, in this case, and so I just said okay. It's just more of a warning to make sure you understand, hey, you're connecting these two things together. All right, so one last part that I want to add here. And so um, let's go back over here. One of the things you'll notice here are some of these test points here, you know, uh, uh, that, that make it some, somewhat easier. Um, and actually, uh, maybe I don't have any in this. I, I, I take that back. I'll, I, I've got these power flags, which are a uh, um, something that is is a keycap. Let's let's do this box around here um, as, as as opposed to doing test points. I'll add test points to another component. When we get to the oscillator, I'll add that. All right, so let's come over here. Um, so if I come over here to this document tab and I get the line tool, let's draw a box around this. And I think I can go back in. I can change this to a long dash and then into a long dash. Should have changed this to begin with. That would have made my life a little easier here. All right, so so we'll just add a box around it just so that we can see. Uh, actually, it is drawing this on the nets. All right, so I've got it on the wrong. Um, I've got it on the wrong layer. So let me hit Control. Let's see if I can. Select all of those. And so, actually, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to start over here. Let me go to I'm going to go to the info layer, and I'll add it. One more time. So I come over here and I'll do short dash. I'm on info. And then I'll come down here. All right, perfect. All right, so let's come up here and add some text. And I'm going to say um, power. And then I'll just add that right there. Done. All right, so it's pretty obvious now where my power my power section is here. I've got my battery running to this little uh, pinhead block that runs to this this little uh, four pin JST, which allows me to plug in my really cool power on board from ST. All right, so I've got I've got this um, I've got this power um, hooked up. So um, let's go ahead and stop there in this video to kind of keep things modular in case you're. Uh, wanting to go get a cup of coffee or whatever. And then we'll come back and we'll do another, um, another area of the board.